All right, so you guys asked for it, so I'm here to tell you about how I got arrested. So I got arrested last year in like March, April-ish, something like that. So back then, I did not know how to roll. So one of my friends were getting off work. And I was like, you want to smoke? And they was like, yeah. And they knew how to roll. So I'm like, okay, cool. Go pick them up. I went to go pick them up from work. We smoked in the parking lot. While we're smoking in the parking lot, we were not aware or I wasn't aware that there was an undercover in the parking lot. So I didn't, all of this didn't come together into me until after I got arrested. So I fucking leave. And he claimed I ran the stop sign. Now, when he got behind me and I seen him, I knew he was undercover. So, he was like, yeah, you uh, didn't stop at the stop sign. I feel like he only stopped me because I have Mississippi tags. So, he pulled me over. It's like, yeah, you, <laughs> you didn't stop at the stop sign. I'm like, okay, whatever. He was like, can you step out of the car? I'm like, why? <laughs> he said, um, well, your car smells like marijuana, so... I would need to search the car. Have you been smoking some marijuana? Yeah. I told him, yeah. I was like, yeah, I have. Okay, so I stepped out the car. He was like, I'm not going to find anything else in the car. Blase, blase. I'm like, no. And he was like, I see the baggie for the weed. I'm like, yeah, because we smoked it up. So, he, um, he searched the car. Another <laughs> cop car pulls up. Didn't see him. He came from behind. And we're like, what's going on today? Blah, blah, blah. Another one pulls up. At this point, it's like four of them. Three cars, three or four cars at this point. Like, surrounding me. I'm so embarrassed. It's cars passing by. It's people standing on the corner looking like... I was just really embarrassed. They popped my trunk. Went through my foot bag. They was lifting up shit that I didn't even know could lift up in my car. Like, they was really acting like I was moving some weight. So... A lady comes, she was like, I'm going to search you, blah, 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 make sure you don't have anything on you. I'm like, okay, whatever. She really got in there, like, underneath my boobs, like, she, like, all in my crotch, like, she really did too much. So, they were about to let me go. He didn't find anything. He was like, I don't see any weed. Okay, I'm like, yeah, Doug, I'm going to smoke it up. So, the man, as they're still searching, the man is interrogating me. Who did you buy your weed from? Who are you smoking with? What were you doing? Where did they live? And I, at this point, I'm not saying anything. I already told y'all I smoked. I'm not saying nothing. And so he was so rude. He was like, why are you not talking? What you scared of? What you think we gonna do? And I'm like, first of all, nigga, I watch the news. Okay? I know what the fuck y'all do. And I'm not gonna be one of y'all victims. So I'm gonna sit here and not say shit. So as he was about to take the cuffs off, the one that was an asshole, he went and checked my wallet. Opened up my wallet and seen what oxy pills in my wallet. I was sick. I was sick. And so he re put the cuffs back on me. And I'm like, what are you doing? He was like, you're being arrested. They read me my rights. And I was just like, no. And he was like, yeah, you're being arrested. I was like, please tell me you're joking. He was like, no. He was like, why was I why would I be joking? I'm like, because I don't want to go to jail. So he put me in the cuffs. We get in the car. I'm like, like this, struggling. I keep moving. I didn't know the more you move, the tighter the cuffs get. I'm moving, moving around. They keep getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And I'm like, sir, they hurting me. He was like, if you don't move, they won't get tighter. Like, by the time we got to the police station, my wrists were like really, really red and like a little bruised up. So we get to... All right. I am back from opening the door. <sighs> Where I leave off. Okay, at this point, I'm in the cop car. We on our way to, I guess, the processing, wherever you go to be processed, booking or whatever. We go down there. They empty out my pockets, take everything out my pockets. Then she take the cuffs off. We do my mug shot. <laughs> the mug shot. That's just, I know that mugshot is ugly. I can't really, I know my head had looked the mask because 
my hair was like all chopped up, chopped and screwed up. It was short. It was like red and blonde or pinkish. It just looked a mess. Like, and I had just washed it. It wasn't even done. I had a hat on. It just looked a mess. So I know my mother's child look a mess. I have yet to find it. I can't find it. I um I googled it a couple times, but I can't find it. I don't know where to look. Then we did the fingerprints, and it was nothing but dudes in like a waiting cell or whatever. So she put me in like a single cell by myself. I get in there and I just bust out in tears. Like <laughs> I literally break down. I am sick right now. Like at this point, I'm like, wow, I'm in jail. I have a record. Like I'm really in here because I'm like reading stuff on the walls and it's like free me f the police, some game banging type mess and just everything. And I'm just in tears reading it. Like oh my god. So I lay down on the bed frame. It didn't even have a a mattress on it mind you i'm high when all this is happening so i'm very emotional at this point so i tell her i'm thirsty and she was like it's a water fountain in there but i'm like it's connected to a toilet who finished drinking water out of that so now i'm thirsty and going through all these different emotions so i just lay down on the bed frame and she was like it's time for you to make your call and she told me i think like i had like 15 minutes or something like that but she ended up giving me an hour. So I asked her, can I use my phone to call my cousin? Because I don't know her number by heart. She was like, okay, lady's so nice. She was like, okay, that's fine. I called Kamai on my phone. Like, I just got arrested. I need you to come and get me. At this point, I've kind of settled. Like, I'm like, all right, now how am I about to get out of this? I need somebody to come and get me and take me the fuck home. So she was like, girl, stop playing. No, you didn't. I'm like, yes, I did. So I go and call her off the wall phone. She was like, oh my God, what did you do? I'm like, girl, it's a long story. I'm gonna tell you like, but I need you to come and get me when they let me go. I need you to come and get me from Annapolis Courthouse. So she's like, okay. So we talking and talking. She on her way back from Missouri. And I call AJ on FaceTime. And I'm talking to her too. And we all just like in shock, like what is going on? So the lady tell my time's up. They bring some more people in. I bust out in tears again instantly. Like, I'm crying. I don't want to get off the phone. I'm like, ma'am. And she was like, you got to go back in there. So I go back in there. I basically cried myself to sleep. Because when I woke up, they was banging on the door. And she's like, pass me your paperwork. Gave her my paperwork. She came back. She was like, really? This is what you got arrested for? I was like, yeah. And she was like, oh, they just want to make an example out of you. So... She was like, you didn't even have a high amount in the oxys. Mind you, the oxys weren't mine. They were not mine. I didn't state that in the beginning. No, they weren't mine. So I'm like, yeah, blah, blah. So she handcuffed me, but she didn't put the shackles or whatever. She didn't put the shackles. So as I'm walking out, I see a very familiar face. I'm like, I know him. I'm not gonna say any names. I'm like, I know him. It's my cousin's ex. I'm like, why are you in here? I got caught selling to an undercover at the gas station, right around the corner from the same place where I was pretty much getting arrested. I'm like, isn't that crazy? The world is so small today in these jail cells. So he's talking about, is Kamaya coming to get you? I'm like, yes, yeah, she is. You think she'll take me home? No, she's not. I said, no. He was like, for real, can you ask her? No, you ask her. I'm not asking her anything. So she ended up taking him. She should have left him there. I would have. She ended up taking him. And yeah, she ended up coming to pick me up. I'm telling her what happened. That just... Man, that one night last year just changed me for real, for real. Really got me to... It screwed my head on real tight. Like, 2018 was my best year. It just ended real fucked up. It's definitely my best year though, because 2017 was my worst year. 2018, I had my head on real straight. I lost it at the end. That's okay. It's back on. It's back on. I got a little too careless, a little too happy, a little too reckless. It's back on though. So 2019, I'm ready. What's up? What's the tea, sis? Um, yes, no, but I hope y'all enjoyed this story. I hope it made you laugh. It's funny now. 
it wasn't funny when that shit happened to me because I was depressed for weeks like my uncle Johnny even came here and cried with me because <laughs> I was sick like I was so 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 sick but yeah mm -hmm. so don't forget to share this video like it subscribe to my channel leave me any comments right. I'm done bye you guys thanks for watching